Hey, how's it going today? I'm just making a quick video on how to do crude painting in Lightwave. I hope uh, someday this tool will be, will be more, become more advanced, but uh, I'll show you. And this is using the Metamorphic plugin. I was just getting frustrated because I couldn't figure out how to get it to work. So anyway, I'm just going to draw a box. And this box is, uh, I put a lot of segments in it in case you want to do try to do sculpting. So if I look down here, if you hit N, I just got 50, 50, 50. And then uh, we'll hit F3 and we will do that. And now the trick here is you got to come down here. Oh, I should hit enter to drop the tool. You hit C down here and you're going to come down here to new. And we're going to make, you can just leave it the default name vortex color and just make sure you put apply to surface and you hit uh, close on that. Or no, you have to create, no, create there. And it'll tell you down here, it was created the vertex map. And then you just need to save this, save object as, and call it box three, save. And then we just send this over to layout. And there it is in all its glory. And we're just gonna match the perspective here real fast. Okay, so all we got to do is come to properties and we're going to go to add metamorphic and here it is. And you just come here to brush mode and you go to color. This green box will come up around and this can be keyframed so you can animate something being colored on there and you can just choose a color like red. You got to check the, the color map and then if you click and drag, you can paint right inside of Lightwave. And that's pretty cool. You know, I would like to see this become more advanced. And you can still use these controls and stuff like that. If you right click, you can control the size and hardness of the brush. So you move up that makes it hard. This makes it soft. And then left to right with your right mouse button it controls the size of the paint. So you just can paint away. And then we could change our color here if we wanted. Oh, we got it. I got it. Say okay. And so let me. If I wanted to make this smaller to write with something like L, <laughs> W, or something like that. So I mean, it seems kind of crude in a way, but you could use it to do some basic surfacing and do some stuff. So just playing around. Not sure what where this is going. <laughs> But that's how you can actually paint inside a light wave. If you just wanted to paint, you know, paint. So if I wait, I'm right clicking here, yeah, it's kind of cool in a way. If you just want a quick and dirty, I guess that would be the way to say it. Quick and dirty paint inside a light wave. But if you come here into, you can go on the surface editor and I guess you can change some of the properties. Let me see, if we go into VPR, let me turn off this backdrop here. Or do these surface qualities apply? Let's see, let's turn down the uh, specular. Yeah, so I guess some of the general surface properties still apply. Anyway, just a quick fun thing, show you how you can mess around, more stuff to mess around with in Lightwave. So take care, have a great day, and I'll talk to you next time.